Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm coming on sharing a project for hashtag altered index 2024. Um, this is my first time joining this open collab. It's with the host is, um, I think her name is Suzanne at Nonstop Paper Crafts. And she's calling it the Tuesday Challenge. And it's where you take a alter, you take a plain index card and you alter it. And every Tuesday, I think she gives you new prompts. So um, let's see. Oh, so I wrote down the past ones. I'm, they're on week 14. So here are all the list of all the ones that she's done so far. So I just thought I'd jump in on week 14. And if I have time, maybe I'll go back and try some of the other ones if I um, have time to do it. So um, I will link her channel in the description if you're interested. You can go to her channel and get all the um, details. Um, I got the idea from, I've seen two people do it so far. Uh, Martha Makes Art, I've seen her do it. And I've seen uh, Deb Houck's Crafty College. Um, she was doing it. And it just gave me the idea, like, I really should be doing that because I have a lot of index cards. Um, both of my daughters who are grown now and out of the house, but when they were in school and college and nursing school and all that stuff, they had so many uh, index cards. And so... You know, they moved out and their mother is the proud owner of all these fancy index cards. <laughs> so I have a lot of bundles of these. So it's the, we got them at Office Depot and they're three by fives. And I knew I could use them in junk journals and, you know, you can use them in your crafts, but I have a lot. So I was like, oh, I really should join this because it's a great way to use these index cards. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I started one and I figured I'll try and... Um, finish it online. I really don't do stuff on camera because I don't know one I changed my mind like a hundred million times on each project. It's just ridiculous <laughs> And then two I get distracted really easy um, But I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and do more on camera now um, So this week 14 the Joey's picks one color one item and one word so week 14 it was the color coral um, the item was flowers and the word is inspired. So she said you don't have to, she's not the color police, so it, anything that's close. And then the word, you know, you can either use the word or anything that is uh, related to the word. Or however you take that word. So that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let me pull over my, what I got going on here. <laughs> um... So none of this is glued on. I started it, um, but then I thought, well, I'll try and do the rest on video. So um, it's on the, I kept the line part on the back so I could journal about um, like what I felt about the word or the information about, you know, where I got all the stuff for the front of it or just, I don't know, just whatever I wanted to write about it. Um, and then, so I had this watercolor paper and I knew this this is coral with like a little bit of blue up here. And I knew I wanted a little bit of both. So I just took the index card and I just, wherever I wanted to um, get the different colors, I lined it up and then I just cut around it. And that's how I got my paper for my index card. So that's how I got the paper. And then I ink the sides with, um, I inked it with, dried marigold and I wanted to show how I get my ink colors too. I have this binder, old binder. Hopefully I'm not too close. Um, it's like a really old binder but I have all my swatches in there. So like this is Stickles and I have all my swatches. Um, I have Prismacolors, my Copics and I have my Distress Ink. So what do I do when I'm doing a project and I know I want to ink, you know, and I don't, I hate when you take out like multiple inks and you're, you use it and it's like, oh, that's not the right color. So I'll take it and hopefully the glare is not too bad. Let me check it out. I'll take it out and then I'll just line it up on the inks that I have and see what's closest to it, you know, or like what I want to use. So in this case, I thought dried marigold was closest. So then I'll just 
I put my book away and go grab dry, dried marigold. And that's what I use to ink the edges. I just thought that would be a... I know some people do that, but some maybe don't. It's a good tip. So then I ink the edges. Um, and then I cut out a whole bunch of different uh, flowers. like, And I cut, cut multiples because I'm not sure what I want to use, you know. I have baskets. I have... Um, different kind of baskets. I have that basket. I have this basket. I have different flowers. I have single flowers. I have bunches of flowers. I have like the one that I used here. I started cutting it up and using single flowers. Um, I like doing that because, you know, you have all kind of different um, sizes and varieties. And then I literally just sit here and um, try and work it to make it how I want it because at first I was going to have it all filled with flowers cascading down but then uh, my wording wouldn't have enough room or it would be too crowded so in this case I thought less is more you know and then you see this shelf here here's another thing okay so I went on Cricut and I just put garden shelf and there's a lot that comes up I made it real big so you could see what I'm talking about so it comes when you get it from Cricut it's this color right but I don't want green because it wouldn't, I mean, it probably would look good, but I wanted some coral in there. So I uh, ungrouped it um, to make it where it's layers. And then I made this white and this white, just change the color. So I knew I wanted this middle piece to have some coral in it. So what I did was I, um, I clicked on the coloring and you know, each color has its own code in your computer system. And so I looked up on Google what coral, the code for coral is. And this is the code, hashtag FF7F50. If you put that in your coloring, um, the coral color will come up. So that's what I did. When I clicked on this, I put in this on advanced, put in this code, and then it turned it to um, coral. And then I just um, stacked them all on top of each other, um, flattened it and cut it up. So that's how I got my little shelf. And then I just altered it to size, cut it out, and put it under my flowers. So that's that step. So then I just uh, cut out a saying. Um, I was going to do inspired, but I don't know. I just wanted to do a, something that is inspiring to me. Um, so I wrote, start each day with a positive thought and a grateful heart. And again, I try different things. Like I say, I'm all over the place. So at first I was going to do like, you know, like um, different layers like this. Just have them randomly put up here. I kept playing with it, but then I was like, uh, I didn't want to do that. So I just put it all on one, one little thing. And then I ink the edges again with the dried marigold. So I'm probably going to put it right here. And then I, um, again, made these hearts on Cricut. I just pulled up a heart, any shape, any color, it doesn't matter. So when I pulled this up, it had um, a group of hearts, but they were black. So I knew that that's the shape I wanted. So I printed or I brought it over to my canvas. And again, I changed the color from black to, and I just put in that code for coral, and then it made them coral. So that's how I did that. You can change the color of anything you want. Just got another code, you know. So I'm thinking right there would be nice. And I'm probably going to put a couple hearts right here. So, oh, and then I also, I had put stickles because I wanted it to dry before I did this. So I just went on each flower and put stickles on there with my uh, diamond stickles. So I don't know. I think that looks good. What do you think? So 
take my Nuvo adhesive. The label is all worn. You can tell I use this a lot, <laughs> but it's Nuvo adhesive. And I'm going to glue. Let's see if I can do this. Sorry if I don't talk nonstop. One, I'm not used to it, and two, um, oh, now my glue is stuck. Come on. There it goes. Sometimes if I think I put too much glue, I'll just pat it down. And this is not that easy to do when you're not looking like right over it. Hopefully I don't have that crooked. I always pick up these little hearts, my tweezers. A little dab of glue. Try not to do too much because you don't want the glue to come out and show on your paper. I'm gonna pick up the next heart. Well, I give the ladies that do this all the time a lot of credit. One, it's not, uh, I'm not used to working like way in front of me, you know, um, but I need to get used to it. So I'm glad to do this. <laughs> I'm not even sure how many people are going to be interested, but <laughs> I was like, I need to start doing things on camera. I do change my mind a lot though. <laughs> when I do a project, oh my gosh. I changed my mind so many times. You should have seen how many times I altered these flowers around. You would have thought I had real flower arrangements. There. Start each day with a positive thought and a grateful heart. You got your flowers. You got your, so what do we have? Um, we have, oh, let me move all this. So we have coral for the color. I have coral. Flowers are the item. Got flowers and word is inspired. And I think this is inspiring. Start each day with a positive thought and a grateful heart. And then I have it lined on the back. And like I said, I'll probably uh, write the date and what the prompts were and you know maybe a little bit about how i feel about the sentiment and what inspires me you know it's a nice little i think it's a great way to journal a little bit about the words that she chose or the prompts that she chose so it's a fun um challenge she's calling it the tuesday challenge but it's hashtag altered index 2024 and I don't know. I'll probably join as often as I can because I do need to use these index cards. You wouldn't believe. I probably, I don't even know how many packs I have. I was actually going to donate them at one point, but I'm kind of glad I didn't now. Now I can use them. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me. And I hope everybody's having a great Friday. It's almost the weekend. So, thank you for joining me and have a great day. All right, bye-bye.